This is WCPO 9 News. Thank you so much for joining us for WCPO 9 News. I'm Craig McKee. Let's take a look at some of today's top stories. Ohio and Kentucky have new mask guidelines for schools. This comes as the number of COVID cases continues to rise because of the Delta variant. The Ohio guidelines cover three points. Get the vaccine if you are eligible, wearing a mask if you are not yet eligible, and distancing and hand washing all to prioritize in-person learning. In Kentucky, Governor Andy Beshear says districts should require unvaccinated students and staff to wear a mask. That includes all students under the age of 12 who aren't yet eligible to receive the vaccine. The governor also said that in order to optimize safety, schools should consider universal masking. Police in Covington say a shooting call led to a high speed chase. Officers went to a house on Montague yesterday after hearing about some shots there fired by a black Acura. An officer spotted that car, tried to pull the driver over. Instead, that driver led police on a chase on I-75, reaching speeds of up to 100 miles an hour. Officers say the driver also tried to run an officer off the road. Erlinger police later found that black Acura, but the driver was nowhere to be found. We have a follow up now on the drowning death of a teen at the Land of Illusion Aqua Adventure Park. In an open letter, the manager of the park, Ryan Perry, wrote in part, we put extensive rules and requirements in place at Aqua Adventure Park for the safety of our guests. They are provided upon entry and posted in the park. We provide and fit guests with Coast Guard approved life jackets. The statement comes after the Butler County Sheriff called for an investigation based on complaints against the park. Good morning, I'm Chief Meteorologist Steve Raleigh. As we look at your Tuesday forecast, we've got generally clear skies and temperatures in the 60s. And then for later today, we're going to feel a day similar to yesterday. We'll be in the 90s and you'll feel the humidity, but it won't be overwhelming. Uh, unfortunately, <laughs> that looks like that's coming a little bit for tomorrow and the rest of the week. Humidity really pops up tomorrow and on Thursday. Thursday night, Friday, our next chance for some rain, but that front will drop the temps for the weekend. 